Hey guys, it's Lee, your Independent Sense Consultant. Welcome back to my channel and to this weekly-ish what I've warmed video. So this isn't a week, this is since just before Christmas, I think. Um, so we are coming up to a week and a half, two weeks. And there, there, there is quite a bit in my little basket. So I will crack, in, crack on with it. Um, the first one I've warmed, well not the first one, these are in absolutely no particular order. But it does include a warm review of the Bring Back My Bar collection which is due to launch in the UK tomorrow at 9am. So this one which is also due to launch tomorrow, Sun Ripened Berry, which is January scent of the month, um, 6.25 a bar. Having said that, all bars from tomorrow until the end of January are 6.25 a bar, no 6.52 sorry, apart from the Bring Back My Bar collection which is full price at 7.25 a bar unless you add it to a three or six bar bundle in which case you will have it for the discounted price and that's because January is the seat, the month where we transition to the new catalogue in February so <clears throat> transition month there's always 10% off most items apart from anything licensed or anything that launches in January which includes Bring Back My Bar. However, the three and six bar bundles are discounted, so it will work that way. So, just conscious of the time because I have friends coming around this evening for some food for the New Year's Eve. So, again, these are in no particular order. Actually, I say they're in no particular order, but I think I will keep the bring back my bar bars separate just so that I go through those in one batch. So talk amongst yourselves for a moment um, and these can actually be added to your Sense Club tomorrow or the bring back my bar can be added to your Sense Club from tomorrow. So <clears throat> December scent of the season, Black Forest Pine, which is really nice. Um, I actually warmed this with sugar. Um, sugar was a bring back my bar in, I think it was July? July. And I wasn't keen on it. I kind of got vinyl A mattress vibes from it, <clears throat> which was quite interesting because I was talking to Melissa Johnson who was saying she gets um, Play-Doh vibes from Sugar Cookie, which I just ordered a brick of from the States, so I hope I don't get that. But then people like love sugar and it's not one of my favorites. So she did actually suggest that I could use this as a mixer. Um, and yes, I did. Um, sorry, I bit disorganised. I didn't realise I didn't have the scent notes for this one. Um, so I'm just having a quick Google of this. So this is a fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. And I don't get lemon or I can kind of get the cotton candy, but I mainly just get vinyl. Which <clears throat> It's funny because I kind of get vinyl as well from coconut vanilla orchid. So I'm not sure what's in it that does that. So yes, I mixed this with black forest pine, which is dark fir balsam accented with pepper to tangerine and an A of smoked vanilla. And it worked really well. It's just coming to an end in my bedroom now. Um, black forest pine I thought was too heavy for the bedroom but adding sugar to it, I didn't get the vinyl vibe from sugar, but it just kind of toned down the black forest pine and just gave it a slightly sweeter, almost more mellow note. So that was those two. Then I 
finished off two bars of Disney Season of Magic. So this is Sugar Crystals and Frost Icicles Twinkle and Shine of Sweet Pine and Wild Berries filling the air with magic. <clears throat> so these are going into the Scentsy Vault um, and they may be re-released next Christmas. They may not. I've added them to my Scentsy Club and I believe you have I want to say it's probably midnight tonight to add these to a Sensi Club. I put, I think I used a bar and a half of this, nearly two bars, Christmas Eve. Popped in Christmas Eve morning, put all my warmers on. It was in, excuse me, every warmer in the house. And <clears throat> I, it's in my club because I think this will become my Christmas Eve signature scent for the house um really like that one to the point where if i can't plan or if i don't think about planning my waxes in advance i would happily just ditch whatever's in the warmers to put these in christmas eve morning then <coughs> i warmed uh this one i do need to look up the scent notes for as well because it's so long since I've warmed it <coughs> excuse me so long since I've warmed it that I don't have the scent notes on it um, so the scent description is a unique creation like Disney's Angel calls for a complex concoction this mischievous mix draws you in like a siren song with a blend of goji berry and blackberry reacting just so with sweet vanilla cream and sugar cane. <clears throat> and this one is a really nice one. Um, I don't find it a very strong performer. Though I do like it. So on Melissa Johnson's recommendation I actually blended it with Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls, which is an alluring potion of wild blackberry, scarlet raspberry and bubbly goji berry wrapped up in vengeful vanilla silk will leave you spellbound. <clears throat> and I think it was like the vanilla in this really worked well with the goji berry, raspberry and blackberry in this one. Though, to be fair, I do absolutely love this one on its own. I just don't find it's a very good performer. Not for me anyway. Um, though, to be fair, this has gone in and out of my club like a bloody yo-yo. Because I put it in, then think, do you know what, it doesn't perform. I'll save my money and take it out. Then it gets re-released. <clears throat> and I'm like, oh, actually, yeah... I like that, add it back in and then think, why am I having it? It doesn't perform for me as much as I like it, so I take it back out. And then I speak to Melissa, who's like, oh, try mixing it, using it as a mixer. And it's like, oh shit, yeah, now it is back in the club yet again. Just because, yeah, it did mix really well and I would be tempted to try mixing it with something like Pink Sugar Berry Mint as well. Although Pink Sugar Berry Mint is a really strong one, so I would possibly mix this on day two with this rather than putting them both together at the same time. So Pink Sugar Berry Mint is plum raspberry is delightfully dusted with sugar and the sweetest hint of peppermint. This one's in my club, I finished this bar off and Unless it gets released as a general catalog item, this is staying in my club. And we do actually find out tomorrow, I think, what is leaving and what is returning. So then this one is a bit of a sensey heartbreak for me. Um, because <clears throat> I had it, I had it in my club. I wasn't convinced with it so I took it out and now so I'm just keeping an eye on the cat he's perched on top of the bookcase looking a bit mischievous um, now I've rewarmed it I mean I've had this since February uh, this year and I've only warmed three cubes but the last time I warmed it I was like oh my god 
why did I take this out to MacLeod? I do have another bar of it. I definitely have one more bar. And this is one I think if it came back, I don't think I would add it back to my club, but I think I probably would pick up a few more bars. But well, not probably, I would pick up a few more bars. And then <clears throat> this scene, oh no, that's right. So I do have three oils, which I will do at the end because actually I do them now. So <clears throat> I diffuse some um, winter spice winter spiced um, oil from John Lewis which I actually blended I find this like really dry spice scent which I blended with peppermint and vanilla um, peppermint and vanilla is absolutely beautiful so far I've used it so much it's probably my most used oil it's absolutely beautiful on its own but also it makes fantastic mixer for anything that you might find a bit too like dry, too powdery, too floral. <clears throat> this just really cuts through all of that. Then I will diffuse some vetiver and sandalwood, and this is a really nice one. This was from the consultant transition kit, and I haven't used a lot of it. But <clears throat> the for context. This was a full size bottle, so which is 15 mil. The consultant bottles are five mil. <clears throat> and I finished off an entire one of these in peppermint and vanilla. And I'm already down to the in this bottle. So I'm hoping it will roll over into the spring summer catalog. Although, because it does seem a wintry fragrance, I'm not overly convinced. If it doesn't, I'm definitely picking another bottle up and hoping it comes back next year. Because unlike Sensi, unlike Always Get My Bar, um, Sensi Club for oils and other products, only applies um, while they're in the catalogue. So, now on to the Bring Back My Bar bars, which, as I said, launch tomorrow. And they can be added to Scentsy Club. They can be bought individually at full price, which is $7.25, or as part of a three or six bar bundle. Six bars, you get one bar free. Three bars, you normally save a pound, but there are an, or there is an additional 10% off in January. <clears throat> so these are in no particular order, but I will give you my warm review um, as well. So, Southern Evening. This romantic twirl of French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits and white mess will prove an enchanting escape. And I really like this one. It's quite, I would say it's quite deep. It's not, even though it is floral, it's not a powdery floral. It's quite a deep almost masculine floral if that makes sense I warmed that one I'm sure I warmed this one in the bedroom and I was like oh yeah this this makes a good bedroom scent really enjoyed that one then we have pink tulips so this is crisp apple juicy raspberry and a hint of night blooming jasmine <clears throat> this one for me is nice but eh, I can take it or leave it that one won't be going in my centre club so the evening is how long it stays in it I don't know then we have cherry vanilla so this is a delightful swirl of candy cherry and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream I don't really get any ice cream from it don't really get any chocolate I, I do get the cherry and vanilla it reminds me of Looney Tunes which wasn't my favorite however this is nicer it's, it is nice, but it's not going in the Scentsy Club. Then we have Black Cherry Bourbon. So this is Black Cherry Bourbon and Almond Cream are perfectly rich and dreamy. <clears throat> now this one, it's strange because all I get from it, it's, it's nice, all I get from it is like Cherry Bakewell, but I'm assuming that's the Almond Cream and the Cherry. I don't, 
don't really get much bourbon from it. Um, I'm not sure I get any bourbon if I'm honest. But you know, that's that, it's nice enough. <clears throat> then we have suit and tie. So this one is crisp apple and vibrant citrus mixed with spirited spices and daring wood. And for me, it's really nice. It's a really nice, quite a masculine cologne scent, um, reminiscent of like going to a meeting and like meeting this really handsome, sexy chap in a really clean cut suit, really well fitted tailored suit with this absolutely gorgeous cologne. But for me, it just doesn't last. Um, I probably, I probably smell it for three or four hours and then there was just nothing from it. Certainly for me, other people may have other performance impressions. <clears throat> like I said, there are, this is just my opinion of these scents. <clears throat> so as much as I like it, it's not going in my club because it just doesn't have the longevity. Then we have Fiesta Lime. So this is fun loving lime, lemongrass and ginger through the ultimate block party. And on cold sniff, I'm not, I'm really not keen on it. Because to me, it's far too much lemongrass and too strong ginger. Warmed, it's not so bad. Um, probably good for kitchen because I think it would cut through cooking smells. Not club worthy for me and I probably wouldn't even buy another bar. But, you know, each their own, some people may love it. So then we have custard apple. So this is pineapple, sugar, mango capture the essence of custard apple. Never smelt a custard apple. One thing that I found, I'm not sure about other countries, but we have a soft drink over here called Lilt, which is, I think it's mango and pineapple. And this reminds me of Lilt. It's just that sweet fruity tropical fruit, fruity tropical fruit, that fruity tropical fruit scent. As I said, no idea what um, custard apple smells like to know if it smells like a custard apple. Had that warming on top of the stairs and I was surprised how nice it was. Not club worthy for me. <clears throat> then we have Johnny Appleseed. So this is just picked Macintosh Pops with apple peels with a hint of crisp pear. And this is strong. It is a really strong, clean, crisp apple smell. I might buy another bar of it. It's for me, I wouldn't add it to my club because I do have, I think, a bar and a half of the apple parsley from the Life's a Garden collection. So I'm not sure I need more apple scents. Um, apple isn't my favourite scent anyway. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm on, I'm on the fence about another bar of this. To be honest, I probably won't because of the fact that I've got like over half a bar of this and I have a bar and a half of the apple parsley. <clears throat> so then we have blueberry cheesecake. So this is thick, rich New York cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and delicious blueberries. I'm really not sure with this one. Um, <clears throat> someone, I'm not sure if it was Naomi or Melissa said to mix it with almond croissant. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Melissa now I've said that because I think I commented about mixing it with spiced eggnog and then remembered that it wasn't spiced eggnog, it was almond croissant. So yeah, it's, I won't be buying another bar of it. These just, I don't get much fruit don't get much blueberry and it's almost got like a, I think a slightly sour note it's probably the cheesecake the cheese like the cream cheese in the cheesecake but I don't know I'm, I'm just not overly keen on that one then we have banana berry so this is lusciously sweet banana cream laid with succulent strawberries 
and this is actually a, my original bar <clears throat> from March it was released as part of the Easter collection and I thought well I'm not opening the new bar when I have the bar here it's nice enough um, it's not my favorite um, to be honest I am trying to work my way through this bar but I do often find that when I'm not keen on a bar it does tend to be left partly <clears throat> because there's other nicer ones to warm but then equally I should probably just get through it. I may actually try mixing this. I'm actually tempted to see what this would be like mixed with Ursula. As I think the banana and strawberry may actually go really well with the goji. <clears throat> so that's banana berry. <clears throat> then we have cocoa lime. So this is coconut milk and creamy vanilla get energized with a citrusy, citrusy splash of fresh lime. And I love the packaging on this. I don't know yeah, if you can see it there. It's like limes and butterfly and limes, I think. And Oh, coconut. Sorry, I can see that's a coconut mouth. This one I got to smell at Sensi Family Reunion. My director had it from the International Collection and brought it for me to smell. <clears throat> and I smelled it and I was like, if that ever comes over here again, it's going in my club straight away. And I voted so hard for this. Um, this was pretty much the only one, mostly, I think each time we could vote which I think was every five or ten minutes you could cast five votes and this was getting four out of the five each time and yeah this is one that I think will probably stay in my club for a very long time just absolutely love this love 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 it and then the last one and this one is also going in my scented club is Mediterranean Spa and this is relaxed with this cool fresh and breezy scent which is quite vague um, it really does like smell like a hotel spa it just uh, I don't know what's in it but it's just an absolutely beautiful scent yeah this is going in my club and it's staying in my club it's quite an androgynous scent <clears throat> Um, so it's not masculine and it's not feminine it's just clean fresh delicious just oh, love the scent I just I just love it so <clears throat> my scent club is due in March but I am skipping the March one and my next one will then be May <clears throat> so I will be picking probably two bars of this up um, on my next order and maybe some more Southern Evening mm. so um, yes I'm conscious of the fact that that jumped around a little bit from wax to oil to wax to gibberish but um, yes, <clears throat> I would just like to raise a glass to the new year. Wish you all a very happy new year. Hope 2022 is better than the last two years has been. So until next year, take care, stay safe and look after yourselves. See you soon. Mm -hmm.